All right, guys, want to do a world exclusive premiere of my Lozy Mini 8 and the shock upgrade that I have done to this vehicle. Um, lots of people out there have been talking about shock problems and not so much the mechanicals of the shock, but the parts on the shock and exclusively the plastic that Lozy is using for both the top eyelid and the bottom eyelid of the shock. Um, there's been lots of fixes, and I too have jumped on that bandwagon and threw out a Traxxas um, eyelet that fit onto the bottom pretty good to where it functioned. Um, but lots of people have been breaking those top eyelets, the one that bolt right up to the shock tower. So I have done a little research and with a little bit of luck found out that the Ofna um, tent scale shocks for the front of their vehicles fit perfectly onto this nice little 14 scale buggy. So, um, as you see there, I do have the Ofna shocks on there. Uh, these are from either the Next 10 SC or the Jammin uh, SCRT 10, um, and they are for the front of the vehicle only. Um, you'll see back here on the rears, got those mounted up as well. As far as size wise, um, they fit in very well. Um, you do have to do a couple of slight mods to get them to work perfectly. Um, I have used the stock springs just to have the stock rate um, of return for the shocks. As far as oils, I am using 40 weight in the front and 30 in the rear. Um, and I chose the most similar piston that the Lozy had, which was a two-hole um, I believe it was like a 1.3 millimeter um, hole for each side. Um, so those are mounted into the vehicle right now. Um, you will have to take the the balls that ride inside the eyelets on, on either side from the Lozy and put them into these Ofna shocks. Um, the Ofnas come with a little bit of a flange and you won't be able to bolt it up correctly. So these things are working very nice right now. Um, I have adjusted the, the droop right there, it's returning right to where I want it, just right above level. Um, the spring rate is great. have quite a bit of preload on the fronts, uh, not so much in the rears, as you can see back there, but for right now, they are working excellently. Um, I've only tested this thing out in the street because it is raining here, so uh, there's the rears mounted up. Um, take a look at the stock shocks right here. I'm um, just trying to get one of the balls out and ended up breaking it. That's how great the plastic is. So um, the shocks from the stock, you know, they perform pretty well. Um, however, just the plastic sucks. So I ended up having an extra set of these um, shocks, mounted them up, and they worked and went out and got another set. So now I got the full exclusive um, upgrade shocks for the Mini 8. I believe I am the first one out there that has done this. Um, if I am not, I definitely apologize to those who have done it. So anyways, the first one that I've seen, I've done quite a bit of research and haven't seen anyone else. So other than that, um, here is a quick part number from Ofna. Um, these are the fronts. Um, I think on a previous video, I, I located the rear part number, but this is the 40880. Uh, this is the shock set for either the Jammin SCRT or the next 10 SC. I think I paid 32 bucks for these at Nitro House. So other than that, you will need these stock balls that come out of the eyelets and then use these stock springs. Um, these shocks that from Ofna do not come with springs. You would have to purchase those separate, but they are way too stiff for this tiny.